Sometimes an optimization problem has an integral objective function. And so we're going to set up and solve a sample problem today, a very simple one with optimal control. This is called the loose optimal control benchmark problem. And uh, we have the following objective. We're going to minimize the integral of x1 squared and multiply by a half. And we'll do that by adjusting the values of u from a time period of 0 to 2. Okay, so x1 squared is going to be positive and it's going to increase monotonically until it reaches the final value. And we're going to try to minimize that by adjusting the value of u between the 0 and 2. Okay, and then it's subject to this differential equation right here. As we change the value of u, that's going to be the slope of x1. And we also start off with an initial condition of x1 equals uh, 1. Okay, and then uh, we also have one other constraint that u has to be equal to um, you know, anywhere between negative 1 and 1. And so let's go ahead and just um, reformulate this. So this is a strategy for dealing with integral objectives. Because in order to optimize this, we need to be uh, have differential and algebraic expressions. And so there's a simple way to transform that into the DAE form. So what we do is we just define a new variable, x2, that is the integral. And then we differentiate both sides of the expression. Okay, and then that will lead to our new equation that we'll include. Okay, so we just differentiate both sides. The differential of the integral is just going to be that expression on the right. Okay, you just basically you just drop the integral. And then you include this uh, x2 value. We're going to minimize, in this case, x2 at time final, still by changing the value of u, but now we have this new expression in there for the integral. Now we want to start the integral at a value of 0, and then it will accumulate from there. And we'll go to a final time of 2, as mentioned by the integral expression. Okay, we still have the u value constraint between negative 1 and 1. So that's how we're going to set up the problem. Um, I'll show how to do this in Python Gecko. We also have some examples of how to do this in MATLAB or Python directly. Uh, but what we're, we'll do is, uh, first of all, just go ahead and import a couple of standard packages, NumPy and Matplotlib, and then we'll get uh, Gecko. So if you don't have Gecko already, just open up a command prompt and do pip install gecko and it will go out and retrieve the latest version and install it for you okay and then what we'll have is this uh, new model m equals gecko we'll define some time points so we're going between 0 and 2 and we'll have 101 time points so that means that our delta t is going to be 0 0.02 now you can make that more fine if you want to get you know, more accurate or more coarse if you want to have a faster solution. We're going to define some variables. In this case we have x1, x2, and u. Now the unique thing about u here is we have some lower and upper bounds defined on that variable. Next what we'll do is to be able to ma minimize the, just the point at the final time is we'll have a variable p that will be 0 everywhere and then equal to 1 just at the very final point. So I've changed that value to 1 right here and then initialize this new parameter final with those values p. And we'll see that you know right here where we are going to be minimizing x2 but we only want to do it at the final point. Here are our differential equations. So let me go ahead and just move this over a little bit so we can see this. Okay, this is the, the problem right here that we're um, expressing. There's our first differential equation right there. And our second one is right here. And then we have our, you know, this is going to be our objective function right there. 
Okay, this iMode 6, that's a dynamic optimization. And then we tell it to solve. If you'd like to solve it remotely and you have Windows, then you can just re do remote equals false, and it will solve it locally without an internet connection. The final thing we do is just plot the x1, x2, and u values. So let's take a look at those. I'm going to go ahead and just run this in Python 3.6. It also works with Python 2.7. And I'll do run. And then it's going to optimize it and then come up with this figure right here. Okay, so let's just inspect this figure a little bit. We'll see, um, you know, here is the solution right here that I've saved. So what it's trying to do is minimize x1 squared, the integral of that. So the way that it can do that best is by getting the value of x1 to 0 as fast as it can so that the integral of x1 squared okay, is as low as possible. So we start at an initial condition of 1, but the, we're constrained by a differential equation, dx1 dt equals u. And u is going to go to its lowest value, okay, from 0 to a time period of 1. And the reason why it'll do that is because then this will have a slope of negative 1, the fastest that it can go down. And then as soon as it hits 0, then u goes to 0, says, you know, now I can have a 0 slope because I want to keep x1 at a value of 0. And so this is the optimal solution to the integral of x1 squared. So just to summarize, what we've done is just shown how to take an integral objective. In this case, this is the original dynamic optimization problem right here. And we just transformed it back into a differential and algebraic expression form by differentiating this objective function, creating a new variable, and then including that in this modified form. And then we set up and solve this with, uh, you know, with Gecko. I just want to show you the MATLAB solution as well. If you just go to this link right here, it'll bring up a web page where it shows this problem and it shows the source code both in MATLAB and Python with AP Monitor. And then you also have the Gecko solution right here. Make sure you just select the Git code down here on the bottom, and that will bring up. Uh, version of it that you can just copy and paste into Python.